Uh, our topic for today is curvilinear motion uh, within rectangular components. So, we have a set of problems here. So, an object travels from the origin along a curved path line as shown. If, we, if its horizontal velocity is Vx equals 80, 80 meters per second, where t is in seconds, determine the magnitude of its velocity, acceleration, and distance from the origin at t is equal to 2 seconds. So first, uh, I will write the Vx is equal to dx over dt. So, so we can we can use the big function to find first the horizontal position of x as function of time. So, so based on this, uh, so it is equal to 80, 80. Then we can so next is integration. So x equal to four squared. Then the next step is we will write the y. So y is equal to so since y is related to x, so given the y so one fourth x raised to three over two. So so next is equal to two three. three. So the y vertical position as a function of time is 2, 3, cube. And next is, uh, we'll find the position vector. So, position vector r equal to xi plus yj. So, next. So it becomes 4 t squared uh, i plus 2 t u j. Um, so this is the position vector. Uh, so next we will Derivative the uh, we will derivative the position vector so we can get the velocity vector so v is equal to dr over dt so derivative of at squared is at i plus uh, Derivative of 2, 3, 2 t cube is 6 p squared. So, copy j. Then, next step is we will get the the, the acceleration vector. So, we will derivative this uh, the velocity vector to get the acceleration vector. So, acceleration dp over dt. So, derivative of at equal to 8 copy i plus derivative of 6 p squared is uh, 12 j so now so we get we get the uh, position vector the velocity vector and the acceleration vector so next So next we will get the we get so after this we can evaluate the position vector, velocity and acceleration vector. So so R equal to so R equal to four T squared plus two T cube. So the value of T is two. So we can simplify so it becomes sixteen i plus j. So this is the position vector, next is the velocity vector. So uh, substitute two seconds to the 
to the T. So we can get the 16i plus 24j. So unit meter, then this is meter per second. So na wala nang tinta. So next we will get the acceleration vector. So a is equal to 8i. So substitute again the two seconds to the value of acceleration vector here. So we will get uh, 8i plus 24. No. Uh, so acceleration vector here is no t. So we we, do, uh, we don't want to substitute. Okay, so so happy. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, uh, in this side, uh, the derivative of 60 squared d, 12 dj. So, so the the value of t is two. Substitute in 12 uh, in t here. So, the value of acceleration vector is 8i plus 24. So. J. The unit is meter per second squared. So after that, we can now get the magnitude of vector. So our formula is R equal to square root of 16 squared plus 16 squared. So the value of position vector is uh, 22.6 meters. Then next we will get the magnitude of velocity. So v is equal to square root of 16 squared plus 24 squared equal to 28.8. So the unit so per second. Next, we will get the magnitude of acceleration vector. So, formula A is equal to 8 squared plus 24 squared. So, this is equal to 25. Uh, 5 cube. 25.3 meter per second squared. The value for acceleration. So after this, uh, we can now represent vector. So first we will represent the position vector. So so y equal to 60 meter. Then x is equal to 16 meter. So this is the r. Next the velocity vector. So so dy is equal to twenty four twenty four meter second. Then the Vx is equal to sixteen meter per second. So this is B. Then the acceleration vector. So, so ay is equal to 24 meter per second squared. Then ax is equal to 8 meter per second. So this is the so this is the Corbinear motion uh, with rectangular components. So.